Hi guys, welcome to a new video. I went to the Dollar Tree today. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you and I hope maybe you'll stick around. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. So like I said, I went to the Dollar Tree today and I'm not even gonna lie you guys, I went for like three things and I came home with a whole bunch of extra stuff. So of those three things, I came home with two and then there was something that I picked up that, uh, two things that I picked up that I actually did need. Um, all right, so let's start with the stuff that I actually went there for. I got a small pack of like the Solo Cups. My husband likes to drink out of these, but I also like to use them to warm bottles up in the sink. We fill it with just really hot water and then stick the bottle in there. I think this works really well, so I got some of that. I needed tin foil, so I got this. And then I got the foil sheets. I wanted to get regular Reynolds wrap. My Dollar Tree usually carries it, but they didn't have any, so I went ahead and got this. Um, these are the things that I realized I needed afterwards. My kids need new toothbrushes. So I got this little three pack, a pink one for Isabel, a blue one for Wesley, and then just an extra one for whoever might need it first. Um, the only character toothbrushes they had is they had like one Paw Patrol one and the package was all banged up. And then they had the ones with like the little feet on them. And I figured that was just better. I could get three for a dollar. And, um, some new toothpaste. This is Colgate. It says that it's bubble fruit flavor, whatever that is, but my daughter keeps complaining that she doesn't like the taste of toothpaste. So I'm hoping a flavored toothpaste might make that a little easier. I got myself some like generic brand Tylenol. I needed some, and this is a 40, let's see, there's 40, uh, 40 of them in here, and that's pretty good for a dollar. Then I got some food. My kids really like these pretzel dippers, and I've seen almost this exact same thing in places like Walmart and they're a lot more than a dollar. So I go ahead and buy this little five pack. Um, they like them either for school snacks or sometimes even for after school. I got these little Crayola gummy treats. There's six of them in here. I have two packs of gummy treats left so they can go into their lunches tomorrow. On Fridays, I usually give them a special mystery treat that I put in those little Lego boxes that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Um, but I wanted to have a couple more on hand for this weekend and Monday because I go grocery shopping on Monday. But I thought that would be fine. I got this to go in their uh, lunch to, on Friday. It's the Bunch of Crunch. And I'll just put like a little handful in there for each of them. And then I got myself some Tootsie Rolls. I like Tootsie Rolls. These are one of the candies that I can still eat. So I, I get these when I, when I run out. And I usually only have like two maybe three at a time just to kind of you know kill that sweet tooth craving if i ever get it i swung through the book section i found this which i think was really cool um it's the halloween spooktacular i'm looking at this back here originally it was i don't know if you can see that 1995 it got it for a dollar and it has some really neat stuff in it it's got like different decoration ideas and recipes and it's really neat I really liked it so especially for a dollar so I went ahead and like here's an example for ghostly leaves isn't that adorable so I figured I'd go ahead and bring that home especially for a dollar and then I found this book that I want to read that's called Momzilla's and it's apparently about moms in the Upper East Side trying to you know get the whole parenting thing so I thought that was really kind of interesting and I thought it seemed like it could be a good read, especially for a dollar. And if I end up not liking it, I only spent a dollar. So I got that. And then the rest of the stuff is for the kids. Now, after our car accident, we don't think we're going to get the kids sunglasses back. It was okay. They were cheap sunglasses, but it's Texas. It's hot and it's also very sunny most of the time. So I went ahead and got some more. I got my daughter these. They're pink and they've got little watermelons on them. And now these I'll have to check. Um, Wesley kind of has a big head. So we'll have to see if these actually fit. If not, I'll have to get them a different pair. But I did get them these just to see. Hopefully they'll work. And then the rest are just little uh, toys that I decided to go ahead and get them. Isabel likes fingerlings. She has a whole bunch of different kinds, the whole different kinds of animals and all that kind of stuff. Um, but these are like, it's a little surprise pack. And you get three little things in it. You get a figure, a charm, and a bracelet. 
And I figured she'd probably really, really like that. So I went ahead and got her that. And I can never seem to get one kid something without the other kid going, but what about me? So I got Wesley this really neat little matchbox car. It's like a little, what is this, like a digger maybe? It's a construction one, whatever it is. But I know that he would like it. And then I bought these for no other reason than I thought they were funny. They're squishies, so I know the kids are going to love them. But Isabel is getting this soft pretzel squishy. And Wesley is getting a hot dog squishy. Now, I have not decided if I want to go ahead and give these to them now or if I want to save them for something else. I already have squishies for their Easter baskets. Their Easter baskets are pretty much done except for, I think, pajamas. They may be the last thing I need for the, and candy. Obviously, I'm not going to buy candy now. But um, for the two older ones and Benji, I'll just, he's not going to get quite as much stuff probably. Um, but I do put those buckets together for Valentine's Day. And I'm debating on whether or not I want to stick these in the Valentine's Day bucket or if I just want to go ahead and give it to them. So I'll think about that and I'll let you know what I decide to do. All right, guys. So that is everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree when I was just going for three things. The third thing that I ended up not getting was I wanted to get some paper plates, but in my particular store, they had some of the party plates, which you know, you only get like eight of those. And then all the other plates they had was styrofoam and I don't like using styrofoam plates. So I just didn't bother with those. So that's everything that I got. Um, I hope you like it and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.